Watts have become super important in Pokemon Sword and Shield recently because of the new Isle of Armor DLC that just released. And once you beat the storyline in the Isle of Armor DLC, you are given the option to upgrade the dojo using Watts. You can give various amounts of Watts to Honey to get various things for the dojo. And once you give her 1 million Watts, you're actually given the opportunity to battle a very special somebody. Not going to spoil it, but if you want to see exactly what happens, look up here. I have a video linked. I kind of actually went through it and showed you guys in a video everything that happens leading up to 1 million watts. And you can even go as high as 3.2 million watts right around in there to get a rare league card from Honey herself, which is pretty neat. I mean, that's a really cool thing. And I decided to go ahead and make this video on how to farm watts as fast as possible because I figured a lot of people were going to be searching this sort of thing and trying to figure out exactly how you can get watts as fast as possible because getting a million to three million watts it's not easy even with exploits it still takes a good amount of effort but i did learn of a way to get them extremely fast i'm talking about 1 million watts every hour and a half maybe every hour and 15 minutes if you're a lot faster than me still that's pretty daggum good considering how hard watts are to farm but let's go ahead and i'm going to show you how you can do it so for those of you that don't know what the day skip glitch is i'm going to explain it for you briefly all you have to do is get about 3,000 watts go up to a watt trader and buy a wishing piece again all you have to do to get the watts just go up to a couple of active dens around you you should see a couple popping up like there's one back there for me just grab a few of them get a few thousand watts and then go buy yourself a wishing piece once you've done that go to an inactive den and throw in that wishing piece like i've done here and what that's going to do is that's going to give you a den that's not going to despawn once you start skipping days which is very important for this whole thing to work correctly and quickly the next thing you're going to want to do is activate the day skip glitch there's a couple of different ways that you can do it uh one way is just going into the den um hitting invite others in the den raid and then you know pressing the home button going in skipping the day coming back coming back in and then backing out of the den and it'll reset it but that takes a little bit too long there's another method that's been around for a while that a lot of people like myself use that allows you to skip days a lot quicker and i really wanted to explain this method in detail because there are a couple of things that will slow you down when doing this method that you need to avoid so all you'll need to do to activate this exploit is just go to your ycom feature by pressing y and you'll need to make sure that you're connected to the internet like i am just make sure you hit the plus button and then go down to link battle once you're in the link battle tab just go to single battle double battle it really doesn't matter i just click single most of the time because it's at the top and it's going to start searching for an opponent and once you find an opponent you'll need to do something so it took us about 15 seconds and finally found an opponent once it starts communicating you want to hit your home button go over to here to system settings go to airplane mode now as you can see here since i'm docked i cannot activate airplane mode so what i need to do is i'll need to lift up the switch out of the dock and then activate the airplane mode if you're in handheld mode obviously you won't have this issue go ahead and pick it up hit airplane mode and then I'll set it back down into the dock. And as you can see, it disappeared off the screen. Don't worry, it'll come right back up. And now, as you can see, I'm in airplane mode, which means I've obviously cut off from the internet. Then I can turn it back off, go into the game, and it's gonna say communication with the server was interrupted. Just hit okay, and it's gonna throw you back out of it and into the regular game. Now the exploit should be active. All you'll have to do to test this is just press your home button, go over to system settings, go down to system, date and time move up one day hit okay back out go back into your game and as you can see the den just reset and i don't know if you noticed but there was a little bit of a flicker once i actually loaded back into the game that's how you know that it's active like you can press your home button go back in and you see that flicker uh basically just kind of skips a couple of frames that means that this the glitch basically is active and then now you can start farming watts and this next part is very important to actually make sure that you're farming them fast once you actually claim your watts, as soon as you press A for the first time to activate the den or actually uh, interact with the den, start hitting B. Just go ahead and start spamming B because if you don't and you accidentally hit invite others during all this, it actually deactivates this exploit. It deactivates the whole thing. So then you'll actually have to go back through the Ycom feature, reactivate it again. So make sure you just start spamming B. I hit B on the controller and it's gonna quit right out. And then all you have to do is soon as soon as you hit B, you can hit your home button again, back over to system settings, go back down to system, date and time, move up one day, hit okay, 
back out go back into the game and it resets now the reason why i like doing it this way is because you can farm watts extremely fast by doing this method this is the fastest method i know of by far it's not even close um i'll leave a list on the screen i did some math uh, i timed myself for 10 minutes to see how many watts i can get in 10 minutes i ended up getting i think 116,000, and i ended up converting it over to 30 minutes an hour all the way up to five hours i think at the five hour mark you have 3.5 million watts which is crazy and i'm going to show you how fast you can actually farm watts so watch this let's press on the den immediately hit b hit the home button go over system settings go down the system wait in time and I'm not the fastest at this, uh, this, by the way, guys. Back in, boom, and start spam B. Back in, scroll down. Whoop. Boom, back in. And just like that, I farmed four to 6,000 watts that quickly. I mean, it's that easy. And if you're doing it in handheld mode, you can actually use the touch screen on your Switch to go through the menu a lot quicker. I tried it, I'm not that good at it. I'm not the fastest when it comes to this method, but still that's pretty fast. And I know a lot of you guys were gonna be asking for this kind of content. And I wanted to make sure everybody in my community was aware of this because a lot of people that would be playing this DLC, I didn't want them spending months and months and months trying to get as many watts as possible to upgrade the dojo when they can do it in a matter of hours. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the end of the video. I know I've already made a video that's very similar to this, but again, I wanted to kind of refresh everybody on how to do these sort of things and to make sure that you are doing it correctly because I know it costs a lot of watts to upgrade the dojo and get the, you know, the, the secret battle and that sort of thing. So I wanted to make sure everybody in the community was aware on how you can do it as fast as possible. Again, this is the fastest known method as of today but guys if you found it helpful and you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button consider subscribing to the channel if you're new but guys thanks so much for watching have a great day great night wherever you are until next time peace out